Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. The obturator nerve supplies motor and sensory innervation to the medial thigh. It arises from the lumbar plexus, specifically nerve roots L2, L3, and L4. After arising from the lumbar plexus, the nerve travels along the iliopectineal line and descends through the psoas major muscle. The nerve emerges from the medial border of the psoas major near the pelvic brim. In the lower pelvis, it courses anterior to the obturator vessels. The nerve exits the pelvis en route to the medial thigh by passing through the obturator canal. Near the canal, it divides into the anterior and posterior divisions. The anterior branch continues its course between the adductor longus and adductor brevis and eventually terminates as the cutaneous branch of the obturator nerve. The posterior branch travels between the adductor brevis and the adductor magnus. The obturator nerve provides sensory and motor innervation to the medial thigh. The sensory innervation to the medial thigh is via the terminal branch of the anterior division. The motor innervation to the adductor muscles includes the adductor longus, the external obturator, the adductor magnus, the adductor brevis, and the gracilis muscles. Specifically, the anterior branch of the obturator nerve innervates the adductor brevis, the adductor longus, the gracilis, and in rare circumstances, the pectineus muscle. The posterior branch of the obturator nerve provides motor innervation to the adductor magnus, the adductor brevis, and occasionally the adductor longus and obturator externus muscles.